In this video, we'll answer the question whether XEF2, that's xenon difluoride, is polar or nonpolar. So the first thing to notice is that the xenon in the center here, this xenon has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 valence electrons, more electrons than an octet. That's okay, xenon can have an expanded octet. The other thing is that we don't think about xenon as forming chemical bonds, it's a noble gas but it does form bonds with certain elements under certain circumstances. So this is a real molecule. So let's figure out whether XeF2 is polar or nonpolar. We'll look first at the bond between the xenon here and the fluorine, this bond where they're sharing this pair of electrons. Let's look at the difference in electronegativity between xenon and fluorine. So here's fluorine 3.98 and xenon 2.60. This difference is greater than 0.5, this is a polar bond. So the bond between the fluorine and the xenon, it's gonna be polar. Back to our Lewis structure, what that means is these electrons here that are shared, the chemical bond, because fluorine is more electronegative, the electrons will spend more time around the fluorine atom. So we have a polar bond. But we really need to look at the molecular geometry to figure out if the XeF2 molecule overall is polar or nonpolar. So the purple, that's our xenon atom. We'll add two fluorine atoms, one, two, you can see they've spread out to be as far away from each other as they can possibly be. We also have three lone pairs, so we need to add those as well. One, things spread out, two, still spreading out, three, and what we end up with is its straight line here. This is actually called a linear molecular geometry. It's in a straight line, and it's symmetrical. So if you think of the fluorine atoms here, one here, one here, they're on opposite sides. Since they're on opposite sides, the dipole, the net dipole, ends up being zero. They cancel out. So the electronegativity difference, even though we have a polar bond between the central xenon and each fluorine, that cancels out. The overall molecule is nonpolar. Back to our Lewis structure. So we can say that the bond between the xenon and the fluorine is polar, this bond here and this bond here. But overall, because it's symmetrical, the dipoles cancel out. XeF2, xenon difluoride, is a nonpolar molecule. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.